I have a triangular fire pit. I wanted to show you guys this because this is where we tend to do a lot of our bonfires. A lot of our grilling. The grilling tends to be large. We've got about three inches of asphalt all around here. And then we've got some stone around to make the pattern. And the reason why I did this, it'll make sense to you. I'm building this property, the HQ, which is at an undisclosed location. Yet we have multiple seating. This is just, uh, well, let me bring you down here and we'll get into it. So don't mind my cat mask. Uh, you're not going to see it pretty soon. I'm going to flip the camera around like right about now. And uh, we will actually go into detail on what we did with this. So why the triangular fire pit at first? That's probably what you're wondering. Matt, why did you do a triangular fire pit? Also, our compressor had a tree hit it. That's sad, very sad. I think it looks pretty sharp, no pun intended. But the reason why is because my driveway, and you know, we're, we're finishing this up too, comes around the back, this comes around the front. And it meets at a point, which goes out to the backyard, which goes to other lovely areas. But the pit itself, Again, I just wanted to make a quick video on this. This driveway meets, this driveway meets, and I just wanted it to look kind of cool. I figured, why do a traditional circle pit? Let's do a triangle just to point the house and the yard and everything. We've got the apron and all that stuff, all that fun stuff. A garage is going right here. With that said, we've got some great work that will cover the entire pit. These are mainly just panels that you can open up. Uh, they're also cut into a triangle. As you can see, I like triangles. Triangles are nice. They're sharp. Hope my dogs don't eat my guns and uh, the shotgun, at least KSG, which has the ever so coveted town grips on there. Now you can fit, these are loosely around here. We have other chairs too that sometimes, sometimes we pull out here, but like, I'll just organize this as we typically would on a night where we have a good amount of people here. The cool thing is this fire pit being a triangular pit, you can break it up into technically multiple fires at once if you, if you choose to do so. The benefit of that is if you're grilling you can have a main fire it's pretty big and then you can pull your coals off to the side and you can cook whatever you want at whatever rate you want it won't affect who's cooking what over here you got hot dogs over here a steak over here you're gonna cook things differently but as you can see I'm filling this up you still got a, about a foot of space between each other body heat is good in the cold got the zo6 back here five chairs there and you haven't even made it to the end now granted fire gets hot you can back her up. You can put a six chair here and figure you can do another six that way and then probably another five that way. So you're looking at about 17 people. If you really wanted to spread it out, you could probably fit 20. Um, if you wanted to add another three, three and three or so, or what, what have you. Now, the these bricks, they're not heat rated, but I had them. We'll probably, most likely, do something over this in the future that's a little more heat resistant and durable and adaptable to this. We've also got the slate plates. You can cook on those, oil them up, and they stay pretty clean if you clean them. This bad boy, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have my assistants uh, hey, 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 slide down there. Wee, 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 wee. Good boys. So that's pretty cool because it's a hammock chair and I always keep it at the end just to make it look real Illuminati. And for those of you wondering, no, I'm not a part of the Illuminati. We are just a cat, a man in a cat costume. I think this was a, a panther, not a black panther, but a panther. I can't be a black panther. They wouldn't, they wouldn't accept me. This is what we got going on here. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have any suggestions, if you think it's cool. I kind of like it. It's pretty sweet. Big fan. Obviously we have to seal this. I'm going to get some topsoil to fix this ledge. This was all compacted and it's actually recessed a little bit with some DGA. And then we put a little bit of, a little bit of stone, a light layer. So we had some extra we had to get rid of. And the cool thing is, is this driveway actually comes out to a point itself. So that's a point, but watch as I back up here, I'm standing right here at the end. This is the tip, just the tip, but pretty sweet, right? And this just comes this way because this goes out to the Netherlands, which we will not discuss. Got the Tacoma back there, just hit a deer with that. Definitely always a fun time. Um, I, saw, I saw cut these edges. Funny thing enough, I did this at night. I measured this the next morning when I was saw cutting and they were all 
the exact same length to the T. Just gotta saw cut these edges. And then we are good. I didn't use a measuring tape. What I used is that loot I have over there, the yellow one, which you can't see. And man, you know what's cool? It all came to the same exact point. So I was able to sulk it from point to point to point to point. I, had, I bowed it out a little bit further just so, you know, it, it wasn't the edge, wasn't breaking off, wasn't weak. Get a bit of a better, more pristine cut that way. And, you know, obviously it's not going to be perfectly straight. You could do it if you had borders. I don't have borders. I don't care that much. I just kind of, this is kind of a project that I wanted to take on. And I had the means to do it. So with that said... Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna fill this in with topsoil and then we're gonna plant some seed back here. I think I'm gonna keep this grassy sort of area because it's easy to cut. Especially if this is level. I'm gonna ride right over it. Said topsoil. Got some topsoil. Got a little cash of some. Check out the cows. And got a little screen drum. Screen bob bob bob. You guys got anything to say? Oh, you're cold. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna go inside, my little buddies. We got Olaf over here and Gustav shredding the gnar. They're my protection dogs, so don't fuck with me because I don't have to kill you. They will. Have a nice day.